Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think episode number 114 for Monday, August 11th, 2014. 114 on 2014, but I guess nah, that's so good. Yeah, 2014 is a whole year. Anyway, so uh, I asked you guys a question for this episode so that I could get an idea of what the most popular Pokemon were, and so I might be able to capture some. And uh, let's get with those. So the first one um, that was pretty popular was Oshawott. And not because it was powerful, but because it was really, really cute. So I definitely want to catch one of those in Pixelmon just to see how the model looks and see how it compares to what you guys expect. Um, let's see, another one that uh, Garrett Binsfield uh, thought of was Mew. And he was one of the fewest, actually the only person who said Mew. Someone said, I think someone said Ditto. Um, but I, th I think uh, Garrett was the only one that said Mew, or the only one that I saw that said Mew. It probably deleted quite a few of these. But anyway, uh, it's because he can learn almost any move. Obviously, he is a legendary, and I think he comes in at level 70, uh, like the other legendaries, although I could be wrong. I don't know. But uh, lets you clone Pokemon and Pixelmon as well. Um, so that is really cool, and I think um, you, can, uh, you can turn him into a Mew too, or try to, anyway, uh, in Pixelmon. So... Definitely want to catch one of those, but I haven't seen one spawn. I think in one of the early, early episodes, I saw one spawn, but I didn't find him. But it said that one had spawned in the jungle. So the next one was fairly popular. It was um, it was Blastoise. Uh, and a lot of people said they like water types and uh, Blastoise was pretty popular. This person said Turtwig and it's because they're rare and it's a starter Pokemon that grows up to be a really overpowered one that one shots everything. So that sounds pretty good. Uh, Snorlax was extremely popular um, because he's fat and lazy and, and does funny things uh, by just sleeping on the uh, the enemy and things like that. So I thought that was pretty funny. A um, couple of people said Rayquaza because he's a dragon type legendary. Um, then uh, uh, some people said Dragonite. And um, I do want to get a Dratini or Dragonite or um, whichever one I can capture. One, because, well, they do drop diamonds, so it'd be good to kill one, but I think it's also a really cool looking model. And I think I saw one spawn and I tried to get a diamond out of it and uh, instead of catching it and it didn't drop a diamond. So um, a couple of people said they love my Articuno ice cream because he screams all the time, which is annoying. You guys think it's funny. But uh, when you listen to it for about an hour and a half to two hours, uh, not so funny. <laughs> a couple of people, one right after the other, said Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Uh, a bunch of people said Charizard, which I definitely, you know, I thought about it. And I was like, man, you know, they're right. I really do need to catch one because I live in a Charizard statue. So, you know, uh, or actually a Charmander or a Charmander statue, which I think evolves into Charizard. Think. Uh, so I definitely need to get one of those since I live in one. Uh, that's only fair, right? And then you guys probably can guess the most popular choice of all is Pikachu. And for most people, it's like, I don't really know any Pokemon, but I do know Pikachu because Pikachu is the mascot of uh, Pokemon. And uh, if you had asked me this before I started playing Pixelmon, I would have said uh, I would have said uh, Pikachu as well because I didn't know any other Pokemon. So that that's definitely uh, <laughs> that's definitely uh, you know expected. Uh, and then a Fungi Applehead said my favorite Pokemon is Magikarp because Splash is the most overpowered move ever, and I've always wanted a level 99 to evolve into a level 100 Gar Gyarados. Gyarados. Whatever. I know I don't say it right. G Gyarados. G you know what's the problem is that I listen to my friends say it and they're all British so I'm trying to like put you know trying not to put a British well not that I can do a British accent but not put a British accent on it and just speak in my voice and you know it doesn't work like Gyarados Gyarados I don't know but that sort of sounds weird because you know Gyarados maybe I don't know okay anyway I'm no I'm not gonna ever say it right and that's my thing uh so I I, I have to think of what my favorite one is, and I'm a, I can really only choose from uh, my current, you know, the ones that I really capture and pick them on. Those are the only ones I really have experience with. And so far, and, and maybe, you know, um, 10 or 20 episodes from now and pick them on, this will change. But, uh, you know, it's a toss up right now uh, between um, my Snorlax and my original uh, Noodle Gator. Um, 
uh, the Frolligator. Uh, now, uh, I've, uh, well, you guys will see tomorrow, but I taught him a move that's really good. And he's really powerful now, and I really, really like that. But the Snorlax is really pretty overpowered. Now for a next week's question, and it comes to us from Widgie6. And uh, the, if you're a girl, that, <laughs> you know, obviously, if you were a woman. Uh, so, you know, uh, and, and this is for, it doesn't have to be exactly that, but it, this is sort of a question. Um, it doesn't have to be, if you were a woman, what would you have in your purse? It can be, you know, if you had a small bag <laughs> that you carried with you all the time, what would you put in it? And why, I guess. Um, yeah, you know, just um, just list a couple of items that you would have to have with you. Now, before we get to the questions, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on this Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. And uh, the first question is from Bubble Mochi, and it asks, how many Ask Things will there be? Um, you know, I was probably going to end the series around episode 114 or so. So let's see. Um, what episode is this again? <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. Uh, however many there are, are I guess. I mean, I, I'm going to do it every week, um, I guess, perpetually. I have so far. And then uh, Sydney H asks, how much longer are you planning on being a YouTuber? Eh, maybe a couple more days, I think, probably. <laughs> no, I, I don't have any plans for that, guys. I'm going to keep going, uh, well, uh, you know, until it isn't fun anymore. At the, once it's not fun anymore, then I, I you know, I won't do it because I, I do this because it is fun. And uh, when it becomes no more fun, then I'll stop. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Lucas Teets says, did you know the diamond minecart has earrings in real life? Yes, um, I've seen pictures and he does face cam quite a bit. So yeah, I can see the earring in his ears. And, and uh, did you know that I have earrings too? I don't wear them. I haven't probably, I haven't put an earring in and whoo, uh, probably <laughs> 10 years. But uh, yeah, I, I uh, when I was in, um, was I in high school? Yeah, no, nah, in college, I think. Well, actually, I did get my ear pierced. I think I was in middle school uh, when I got my ear pierced. And then when I was in college, I got a few more holes. But uh, no, nah, I haven't worn earrings in years. Joshua Yakubov asks, how different do you think your channel would be if your username was Think Coffee? Not much different um, because it has the same number of syllables. Um, obviously, um, I guess my channel art and a few things would be a little bit different, but, uh, really the only difference you guys would notice in video would be, Hey everyone, it's your friend, think coffee and a welcome to ask, think, etc., etc. So it wouldn't be much different. 1999 blue asks, when was the last time you had a nightmare? And you know, that's really hard for me because, um, you know, I don't, we don't sleep much around this house, um, average about five hours per night. And for some reason that makes me not dream very much. Um, so I have to actually think pretty hard about the last time I even dreamed, let alone had a nightmare. Um, I, I would probably say the last time I had a, a bad dream or a nightmare was at least a year ago. Gymnastics girl Ray asks, do you ever feed Kobe people food? I don't, but my wife does every day. Actually, that's a lie. I do. I do. I do. I do. I can't help it. She's so cute. But I like to tell people that uh, my wife is the only one that spoils the dog, but I do. And I'm with her all day long. So uh, usually every time I eat something like after this, I'm going to go and, you know, get some, I don't know, something something like, oh, well, actually, I'll probably have lunch after this. So uh, what I'll do is um, when I'm making my sandwich, I'll take a tiny piece of meat or cheese and throw it down to her. And then when I'm done with my sandwich, I give her a tiny corner of the bread just because I can't help it. She's too cute. Dimite12345 asks, do you think you're ever coming to California if you are? When and why? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm. we may be going in sometime. I think it's in November or October. I'm not sure if it's October or November, but yeah, uh, no, actually I think it's October now. Yeah, I think it's October uh, because my wife is uh, interviewing for her fellowship and 
one of her interviews in, is in Los Angeles. And I told her, man, if you're going, I'm going. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we might, it'll be very quick. We'd probably fly in one day, spend the night and then leave that next evening to come back home. Cause she has to get back to work and I have to get back to YouTube. And, uh, yeah, so it would be really quick, but uh, I haven't been in California a long time and I'd like to go back. The next couple of people ask about saving money and getting a job. And uh, I would have said, uh, well, uh, you know, yard work. That's what I used to do when I when I was younger. I would um, I would do yard work for my parents and they would give me an allowance or whatever. But uh, seeing as some people uh, don't live in apartments and they can't do that. I mean, uh, you know, um, babysitting, uh, you know, t and, and if you're a boy, you probably don't want to call it babysitting because that sounds like, you know, I don't know. It just sounds like kind of like, like a, a, a not a masculine job but you could say um taking care of younger children uh, <laughs> younger than you um you know helping out things like that especially if you have a younger brother or something like that and your parents do get a sitter for you guys when you're not home you could say mom look i'm old enough i can take care of you know billy or joey or whatever and uh and and, and your parents can uh, save money <laughs> by paying you less but also um you can earn some money uh, that way so uh, you know there, there are a lot of little things you can do and you know the best thing to do ask your parents hey i want to earn some extra money is there anything i can do for you guys to make your lives easier justin underscore asks think i'm new to ask think and i'm sorry but when after hurricane sandy hit did you get outside with a big pile of people in manhattan nope i was and i mean being new to the channel you would not know this so i totally understand i was actually uh down in Houston for a month during uh, Hurricane Sandy. So by the time I got back, we had power, everything was cool, and uh, really didn't. Uh, the only thing that happened was um one of the uh, one of the tiles in our in our bathroom fell into the tub, and uh, we had that put back on, and everything was fine. Guru Games asks, "How good is your PC? Because I noticed when you're recording, you still get around 30 FPS. Um, depends on the game too. Uh, I can get 60 FPS." Uh, because I, I do VSync, so it'll be 30 or 60. Um, but uh, I, I'm on an iMac and I run in Mac OS. Uh, so, I mean, it's a it's it was an expensive computer. And if I put it into Windows, um, I can, you know, I, I can probably, while recording, I could probably get 200 frames per second. Um, but if you're just getting um, a custom PC, um, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money on it to get really good performance with Minecraft, especially with the new update to the snapshot. Uh, so uh, before you ask all these questions of YouTubers and they give you their specs, take into account that the newest version of Minecraft is highly optimized. So you may not need as much power and you may not need to spend as much money. Fluffy Blaze says, I know you like the movie Frozen a lot. I do too. My friends hate it and they think it's dumb. They said Disney just took Rapunzel's face and put on Elsa and Anna, etc. Now I don't even know if I like it anymore. Well, if you like it, you like it. Who cares what they say? Uh, that is definitely not the case. I mean, Disney uses different artists for each movie, a different team of artists. So, um, but they do have a, a, a drawing style that they have to adhere to um, for Disney characters. Uh, so yeah, no, they did not cut and paste or anything like that. Trust me. Um, and uh, if you love the movie, you love the movie. Who cares what they say? Brooke Tucker Owllover asks, how many pictures are on your cell phone? Uh, well, in my camera roll, I think there's about 1,500, but uh, I also have a separate one, which is like old iPhone pictures, which is around uh, another 1,000 photos. But those are backed up on my computer and the camera roll is backed up to iCloud. So I guess 2,500? Puffle A asks, what is the song you play during Ask Think in the background? Changes every episode. Uh, just kind of depends on the length of the episode and how the songs fit, but it's usually always music from approaching Nirvana. Julia Simmons asks, think, have you grown up playing Pokemon and collecting the trading cards or is Pixelmon the thing that introduced you to Pokemon entirely? Yep, Pixelmon introduced me entirely. I had not played Pokemon or anything like that. Uh, I don't, it, it just wasn't a thing when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, no, I had no experience at all. Maddie C asks, what's your favorite book at the moment? Well, I mean, 
I'll just do this. Uh, what book I'm reading right now. I just started reading Ender's Game and it seems really interesting. I think I'm, I'm not that far in, maybe only about 30 or 40 pages, but I love it so far. Mitty Kitty said, I heard the disease Ebola is now infected in New York City. Will you be okay? I'm really scared. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. First of all, uh, you know, there's a lot of press around Ebola because of what's going on in Africa and the fact that they brought, um, I guess, a couple of patients to um, the North Carolina, I think. Or was it Atlanta? Oh, man, I, I forgot which uh, where it was. But anyway, um, they, they, they brought them to a special unit and things like that. And people were freaking out about it. And it's not a big deal, guys. Um, first of all, Ebola is not an airborne virus. You have to come in direct contact with the person who has it. They can't cough or something like that. You actually have to touch them. Uh, so don't worry about that. And no, it is not infecting New York. <laughs> the next person posted something that I thought was hilarious. The, you know, the, the, this type of comment has been uh, floating around Club Penguin blogs for years. Five plus years easily maybe more than that i just thought it was so funny that it had sort of made it way it made its way onto youtube and uh and people had posted it here uh but youtube automatically knew it was spam but i thought it was hilarious to see one of those gaming penguin milan georgia says does your sister play minecraft no she doesn't uh, really play any video games at all daniel baker asks after uploading a video what's the normal amount of times you'd check its comments twice a day for four days or something uh, you're right. It is dependent on the series. Um, you know, ask, think I check more often than others because throughout the week I'm picking out questions. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I do check. I always check the comments on all of my videos. So, um, don't think, uh, but, but yes, you're right on some, I check them more often than others, but I really couldn't say uh, a hard and fast thing that I check, you know, every day, twice a day at 12 PM. Uh, it just depends on what I'm doing. Morgan Garrison says, my videos take like an entire day to upload. How do I get mine to upload faster? Well, there's two ways. One is video compression, and I don't know what software you're using or anything like that, but when you compress videos, and I would suggest the H.264 format or something like that, or um, I think on Windows you guys use uh, WMV or AVI, either of those, um, if, you're, if you're not compressing the videos, they're gonna be humongous and take forever to upload. The second thing is your internet upload speed, and uh, you'd probably want to upgrade that, but that costs money, um, but compression doesn't, so uh, that, that's going to be your first try. Karina Seriani says, Think Noodles, you should ask Weird Al to help you make a music video. That would be awesome. Uh, Weird Al's recent uh, videos that he's uploaded with his parody songs are amazing. I love to work with the guy. I've always been a fan. Lollipop Narnia asks, did you ever experience a tornado? And if so, were you scared? Mm, yes, I have, sort of. And no, I was just annoyed because <laughs> we were in the Dallas airport and uh, there was a tornado watch and there were supposedly tornadoes in the area. And then they were like, oh, you got to get into the bomb shelter or the tornado shelters. Uh, but you couldn't leave security the security area because then you might miss your flight if the flight started going. So the uh, <laughs> the the tornado the safe tornado areas or whatever the storm shelters I think they're called were the bathrooms. I don't know if you've been to an airport bathroom. I mean, even if it's a really nice airport, they tend to not be the cleanest place and not something you want to hang out in for a little over an hour. And and the worst part is you know with my wife and she has to go to the girls storm shelter and i have to go to the boys storm shelter and we're just texting back and forth is so annoying and our flight got canceled and ugh, no fun diamond ninja asks why did you upload your early pop tropica videos with no commentary um well the reason is because at the time uh other walkthroughs didn't have commentary uh some of them had background music actually i don't know if any even had background music but i started by doing background music and then i was like you know what um, cause I had done the road to captain thing. And it was like, people really like when I commentate, let me try it in one of the walkthroughs. And it went over really well. Mr. Sam and I asked, are you going to make a guardian farm or not? Well, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no, uh, I don't know. Um, I, I kind of want to, because, uh, not, not for XP, although I've heard they're very lucrative, uh, but for the, um, for the 
the the drops so you can make uh, sea lanterns and things like that. Uh, what I have to do though is I have to find an area um, that sort of matches up with my 1.6 generation and um, and the 1.8 generation where it's not just a huge deep ocean because I think making a guardian farm in the huge deep ocean requires you to drain it and could be really really bad but if I can find an area that's just like a small river and it equates with a 1.8 ocean area might be a lot easier that fandom says hi think on PE I tried to build another portal I did it correct but it didn't work do you think Mo Mojang will put the portal in on a future update well, I think on Minecraft PE, you build a nether reactor, which is completely different looking than a nether portal. And I think that when you build the nether reactor that you don't actually go to the nether. I don't think there are multiple dimensions on PE, uh, but it sort of um, generates a structure with nether rack and things like that. Uh, so d go ahead and, 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 and Google the uh, Minecraft PE nether reactor and uh, that'll help. Tony Chan asks, why do you team with fans? Uh, your fans in games steal stuff from you and don't play the game. And they don't play the game, so they steal most of your games. Stall most of your games there. Uh, well, you know, I play on servers to play with you guys. That's really uh, what is fun for me. And uh, I don't, I'm not really that competitive, um, you know, in, in, in PvP stuff. And I'd rather just hang out. So that that it, it is true. They do steal my stuff. And, and sometimes I make huge mistakes by thinking someone's a friend and then they, they turn on me or whatever. Um, but uh, no, it's just that's what's fun to me. Extreme Hyper Gamer says, can you name a horse or donkey Dinnerbone in your survival series? It will turn upside down. Well, any mob will turn upside down if you name it Dinnerbone or uh, Grum underscore. I think it's Grum underscore. Uh, and yeah, we will end up naming uh, either, I don't know about a horse or a donkey, maybe a, maybe a bunny. We might name a bunny or actually might name a bunny dinner bone and one grum. So we have two upside down bunnies. That might be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I will use that username at some point. And right on Cute Club, Penguin Fan asks, think you need to get a bunny. You're right, I do. Um, just this snapshot. Uh, the 14W31 that I'm running right now crashes like so much that uh, it makes me not even want to leave um, my, my, my spawn area because ugh, it's just so frustrating. Uh, but yes, yeah, soon we will because this snapshot has sounds for bunnies and things like that. I don't know the easiest way to get them back home because I don't even know where they spawn. But yeah, we will get some bunnies, more than one. Jerome Villanueva asks, will you post a survival series next for PE? Uh, it may, I think um, w the dropper is two parts and uh, the second part will come out today. And then after that, I may do one more adventure map and then start Skyblock. So yeah, soon. Crystal Crafting 101 asks, what's the mod list for Crazy Craft? I have no idea. Uh, I know there's 70 because when I load it up, it says 70 mods, but I haven't really gone through the list itself. I do know that most of it centers around ore spawn, but uh, that's all I know. The awesome guy 2001 says, when you make things live, do you edit in the minion sounds when they respond? And if so, that must be a hassle. Yep, I do. Um, other than the ones that aren't responding, uh, I do have them say random things like the ba 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 banana, except I said it wrong, but you guys get it. Um, but yeah, um, th th anytime that they're responding to me or laughing or anything like that, um, yeah, I, I edit those in one by one. Kyle Berman asks, Dear Thinker, are you ever planning on killing Mobzilla or the King and Crazy Craft? Nah, I don't really want to. It sounds boring. It sounds easy. Like, I don't even, I think, oh, Mobzilla. Ooh, so scary. The king. Ooh, I'm the king of the noodle planet. I'm kidding. Of course I am. Those are going to be super hard, super intense battles, and I am looking forward to it. The next couple of people ask about Minecraft Realms and what it really is. Um, So, uh, Minecraft Realms is free to play on. So let's say your friend says, hey, uh, I just put um, my world onto realms and I invited you. Go to your realms and accept the invitation and come come check it out. So that's free for you because your friend has subscribed to realms and, uh, and put his world on it. So it's sort of like 
um, you know, Realms is basically a server, and I'm saying I bought this, or I, I, I am putting my world on a server, and it's free for you guys to join the server, but it costs me money to have the server. Um, and uh, yeah, so if, you, if, you, if I invited you to the Noodle Planet on Realms, you could play it for free because I'm paying the monthly fee to host it. School Beastly asks, hey, think when are you going to play Age of Minecraft again? Well, as you can see in the background, we're playing it right here. However, um, <laughs> as you can also see, we didn't play it correctly. <laughs> we're taking selfies and uh, PvPing. <laughs> it's crazy. Andrea Hincapi says, think can you do Crazy Craft more frequently because I love it and it's awesome and I'm pretty sure so do most of your subs. I've had a really great response to it. I would love to do it more frequently, but it would uh, get in the way of my other series. So uh, it's got to stay on um, on Tuesdays and Fridays so I can still do survival, so I can still do Ask Things, so I can still do Things Lab and all of the other things that I do. Madeline Sebastian says, can you use the shaders mod of any kind on your survival series? Well, that's a not that's an unmodded series. and. I know shaders aren't really a mod. I mean, they are technically a mod, but it's it's not really modding the um, the, the gameplay. I, I do understand that, but you know, I really well. First of all, my computer can't run advanced shaders because uh, Mac or well, it can if I put it in Windows, but in Mac OS it doesn't support the version of OpenGL that has a lot of the shading stuff in it. But uh, I don't know. The unadvanced shaders I find make things like super bright and oversaturated. And I, I, I don't, I don't really like the way that they look. And um, and I like my Minecraft at least for um, at least for my survival series to look exactly like everybody else's Minecraft, so that you guys can play along and you know what I'm doing with certain blocks and things like that. Just Bella Eight says, "Hey, think I was just wondering how to get snapshots. They seem really cool, and I don't know how to get it." Well. I kind of have refrained from telling you guys exactly how to do it because I worry about you guys losing your stuff. But what you do is you bring up the launcher and your lower left, it's gonna, it's gonna have your profiles. And what I recommend is you click a new profile and then rename it to something else and change the game directory to anything. It doesn't matter. You can make it anything uh, just so that um, you're opening new worlds in 1.8 and you're not gonna mess up your 1.7 worlds because, I don't know, maybe there's a problem with the snapshot, you want to go back to 1.7, and then you open up your world and you'll lose everything. So um, so make a new profile, and then click on Enable Developmental Builds. And once you do that, the um, the version uh, on, on, the, uh, on the little pop-up screen, the little version thing, will allow you to put in snapshots. Lord Panda for the win says, Hey, think, do you think you can call the minions from Things Labs something else? Anything! because minions is just another word for slaves and the minions from Things Lab are your friends, not slaves, and I know it's what they call in the movie, but can you find another name that is better than minions? No, um, and, and, and a minion doesn't mean a slave. It means like, um, I, it, I, think it, I think it means like a loyal servant or something like that, which I know sounds bad too, but, but no, we're all friends and stuff and it is what they're called in the movie. And, um, and, and that's what they are. They really are my minions. And it sort of gives this like, you know, I'm kind of evil, but you know, we, and we, we, we do bad things, but we actually don't really do bad things on things. I mean, sometimes we blow up cities and stuff, but, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, it doesn't have that connotation and, and everybody knows it's fun. PX Gamer 10 says, think I realized you can sneak in pocket edition. As I saw your dropper video, is it a mod? No. Uh, I think it has to, and I didn't realize that this wasn't even a thing, because uh, for me it's a thing. Uh, but yeah, um, in my version on the Amazon Fire TV, uh, the controller has the, I think it's the, what is it? It's the uh, the X button is the crouch key. Uh, it's really hard to use because of where it's placed um, and looking down, it's hard to use my thumb that way. But, but yeah, no, uh, it is not a mod. It's just the version that I play. Taylor Sampson asks, why do you say noodle on at the end and play that music? What music? Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I think I hear it now. <laughs> I do it for familiarity. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this week's Ask Thing. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, 
Noodle on! <laughs>